favorite shows again. For an additional $12 a month along with your digital television service, LightTube Cloud DVR lets you record up to eight programs at the same time, receive 500 gigabytes of cloud storage and whole home DVR. Call TUA customer service to add LightTube Cloud DVR to your digital television service today at 455-4515. And a good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are coming to you live from the beautiful campus of East Middle School. And now, your starting lineup Where tonight, the Lady Cats welcome in the visitors from Lincoln County in the final home game of this season. We thank you for joining us. This is Jason Ray along with Scott Hargrove and the extraordinaire of everything, Chris Barstow. Jason, I'm humbled and touched. And what a great night for softball. It's about 81 degrees. Got a slight wind blowing from the southwest at about 5 to 7 miles an hour. And Jerry Chester spinning the tunes up here in the press box announced it's hard to beat. That's right. We're glad to be here. Glad you're joining us. We're going to give you the starting lineup for tonight. The game. We're going to start with the visitors from Lincoln Carol. County. Their head coach is Troy Smith in his 26th, you heard that correct, 26th year head coaching the Lady Falcons. Troy, Troy's been around for a while, does a great job, and he's an absolutely great guy. Class act. Awesome. They're going to start leading off with their center fielder, number 21, Carly Mills. Batting second, number eight, the second baseman, Kylie Reese. Batting third, at catching number 17, Josie Hall. Pitching and batting cleanup, number 16, Haley Meek. Batting fifth, number 13, and playing shortstop, Bree Hayslip. Number three, excuse me, number 20, Mia Brown, playing first base, will bat sixth. Batting seventh, number 24, and playing left field, Abby Flint. Uh, Chloe McKee, number 33, will be the designated player and batting eighth. Kelsey Posey will be playing second, number 15, and pitching for the visitors will be Charlie Ann Hurt, number 12. The lineup for your Tullahoma Lady Cats. Leading off number 10 and playing left field, Aaron Douglas. Batting second, number 23, and playing second base, Addie Snipes. Batting third, number nine, and playing center field, Carly Baker. Batting cleanup for the Lady Cats, number 15, and catching Alina Martin. Batting fifth, playing right field, Mallory Stone. Emery Saunders will bat sixth and play shortstop. Kaylin Farrell will bat seventh and play third base. Number six, Zaylin Spinner will bat eighth and play first. And designated player number 29, Caroline Nix, will round out the batting order. 
Pitching tonight for the Lady Cats. Leading out Number for Lincoln 21, Katie for Bean. Carly Mills. And we're ready to play ball. Leading off for the visitors. Again, number 21, center fielder, Carly Mills. Jason, I've really enjoyed watching Katie B pitch this year. Um, Miss Bean's going to attack the strike zone, and she's going to do it with a fastball and a changeup primarily. All right, first pitch called strike one. Mills looking at that one. Good way to start the ball game. Again, uh, last home game, last regular season game of the season for the Lady Cats. Second pitch oh. ripped to left field. Douglas corrals it, throws it in. Lead off hit in the top of the first for the Lady Falcons. Kalen did a good job of even getting a glove on it. That ball was hit squared up pretty nicely. Now come to the plate. Up next for the Lady Falcons, Kylie Reese, third baseman. We'll see what she can do with one on and nobody out in the top frame of the first. Off-speed pitch lifted to left field. And that one's going to get to the wall. Mills is coming around. She's going to be held at third as the throw comes in. A good start for the Lady Falcons as they have hit the ball well Reese all season. Kind of got to step back, take a deep breath, regroup. The plate, the catcher. Get the first out. With uh, two on in scoring position and nobody out. The catcher for the Lady Falcons, Josie Hall, awaits the first pitch from Bean. And they are swinging away tonight. That one is deep. One hops the wall. We've got one run across. And two runs in as that throw goes to the third. I think that ball is hitting the very same spot. Exactly, almost, yes. Three up, three hits. For the visitors. I thought Aaron did a good job of getting that ball into third base. Aaron Douglas is our senior left fielder. The pitcher, Haley. That is correct. Pitcher and cleanup hitter, Haley Meek. And we've got a pinch runner for the Lady Falcons. Newberry. Newberry pinch running for Hall. Wind's kind of blowing out to left center here, Jason. The flag is flying that direction, Mr. Hargrove. A good crowd gathering on a beautiful evening. Bean is on the mound. First pitch swinging again. That one's ripped foul of third base, 0-1-1. It's pretty obvious that uh, Coach Smith has told his players, let's swing away. Let's jump and jump early. Ripped foul for strike one. It's two to nothing. We are in the top of the first inning. Lady Falcons on top of the Lady Cats. The pitcher on its way. Fouled away over the first base dugout. 0-2. Well, if you like sports, tonight's the night to like it in Tullahoma. Got several activities going on across town. Here at the Gary Barfield Complex here on beautiful East Middles campus. We do. Right over to our rear, we have Central Magnet and our Lady Cats, or our Tullahoma Wildcat soccer team. Correct. That one's lifted to center. Baker squeezes it for out number one. Here we go. Courtesy runners held at second. First out of the inning. Meek hits a can of corn to the for center fielder. Katie first Bean. Out. Jason, over at Grider Stadium, the Columbia Lions come to visit the, our Tullahoma Wildcats on the on the diamond. In district play. That's correct. Last district district series of the year. That's correct. We travel to uh, Columbia tomorrow to finish that series. Ripped past third. They're going to send the – no, they're going to hold the runner. That, the throw in is – gets past uh, the catcher, but no runner comes home. Batter makes it to second base, though, on the throw. Visitors with two on, one out. Hey, they will send first baseman Mia Brown it's a base to hit. the plate. See what she can do against Katie Bean. We've got her corners up, Jason, in the middle's back. Mia Brown. To trying to do our best to stay out of a big inning. Have a left-handed hitter up. Now we've pulled all four infielders up. She's ready in 
the box. First pitch, a swing and a miss on an off-speed pitch from Katie Bean. Nice, nice pitch there. That one's out, outside part of the plate. Good pitch. One away. 0-1 is the count. The first baseman. That one's lifted to short right. Nice, nice play. play by Stone coming in. Throw into third to keep the runner from second to advance it. It is a sacrifice fly for the third run of the inning for the Lady Falcons. With two outs, Lady Brown Falcons will send Abby Flint, it's an RBI. left fielder, up to the plate. Now with two down, stepping in the box, left fielder Abby Flint. Infield goes back to a normal position, normal depth, with two away. Nice pitch. Nice pitch. Farrell out way to get out slings of it over to Spinner for out number three. The visitors score three in the top half of the first. The Lady Cats on their way to the plate to see if they can cut into that lead. You're on the Light 2 Sports Network. This is your internet service at 10 meg speeds. This is internet service at gigabit. No other local provider can match this level of speed. Call us today to get the world's fastest internet. And we welcome you back to the campus of East Middle School. We go to the, lower half go to the bottom half of the first. Lady Cats. Lady Cats will see what they can do on offense. They lead off with left fielder Aaron Douglas. Lefty will lead us off. Senior Aaron Douglas. That is correct. We start off, she's in the back of the batter's box. Meek taking her time. She's ready now. The first pitch to Douglas. Slap towards third. Corralled by Reese. The throw over Loeb. Nice pick up there by Brown to get the first out. She made a good play of uh, catching that, that softball. One up and one down for the Lady Cats. Addie Snipes will be next up for the Lady Cats. Second baseman. He is second baseman. Snipes. Another left-hander for Coach Barfield. Coach Whitney Darlington Morris. Morris down there throwing the safe sign up, trying to work the umpire Kenny Parker down there on you, that first baseline. You've got to start early to get the late calls, Mr. Hargrove. <laughs> That's correct. It's not Whitney's first rodeo. That first pitch for Meek was in the dirt outside. She'll try again. Slapped foul for a one and one count on Addie Snipe. Oh, my. That Mr. Hargrove's windshield. Got good insurance, Jason. Great. Are they sponsoring this half inning? Perhaps. Oh, good. <laughs> the one one pitch slap towards Meek. She corrals it. Throws a heater to Brown at first for out number two. She had to. Snipes runs real well. Um, got out of the box. Made it close. Two up and two down for the Lady Cats. That'll bring up center fielder Carly Baker. Carly hit well all year. Scott comes into this game with a 323 average. Swing on the first pitch and snagged by the third baseman, Reese. Three up and three down in the home half of the first. We'll head to the second. Visitors lead this one three to nothing. You're watching the Light Tube Sports Network. Did you know that Tullahoma Utilities Authority has a solar farm right here in Tullahoma? For as little as $4 a month, you can support solar energy production and breathe a little easier knowing you're taking positive action to reduce your carbon footprint. Call 455-4515. We're back with you on the Light Tube Sports Network. We're heading to the top of the second. Visitors from Lincoln County le leading the Lady Cats three to nothing. This half inning will be led off by Chloe McKee. First pitch, and oopsie. Nice attempt by Snipes. She 
Oh. Pitches over to Spinner. Safe at first. She tried to catch that ball on the fly, unable to. Gave a good, great, gave a great effort. Great effort there by Addy, but up next for the visitors. Base. That brings us the second, second baseman, baseman, Kelsey. Kelsey Posey. Posey. She'll see what she can do with one on and nobody out. Ball's high and outside for ball one. That might be the first first pitch we've not seen <laughs> swung at by the Lady Falcons. They're aggressive at the plate. Here comes the pitch inside. Rip past Farrell at third. Douglas corrals it. Gets it back in to Saunders. Visitors two up and two on. Runners at first and second. And nobody out. Go back to the top of the order. Go back for to the order. Carly Mills. On the plate, center fielder, Carly Mills. Pitch from Bean, high and outside. Mills leads this at bat with a 1-0 count. Mill scored in the top half of the first. She lifts that one to left field. That one's in a trouble spot. The throw to nice third. Nice play. And not on the bag. So we've got bases loaded and nobody out. Lady Falcons will send Kylie Reese to the plate. Mills gets a CNI base hit. That'll load the bases up for Infielders have moved up. Kylie Reese. Top of the second. Lady. Falcons lead the Lady Cats three to nothing. Bases jammed, nobody outs. The number two batter for the Lady Falcons at the plate. She's swinging away on the first pitch. That one's lifted foul, out of play, over the first base dugout. Jason in college action this weekend down at Lee College. Madison Barnett, former Lady Cat, was the player of this named player of the series with two wins over Mississippi College. Down in Cleveland, Tennessee. She's having a fantastic freshman season. That uh, pitch lifted to right center by Reese will plate two. Leave the Lady Falcons with runners on second and third and nobody out and a lead of five to nothing here in the top half of the second inning. And that Reese will bring the Josie Hall to the plate, right the catcher field, for more runs. the Lady Falcons. Now batting. The catcher, Josie Hall. Josie Hall with a double in the first inning. That ball is in the dirt. Runners coming home. Play at the plate. Not in time. Mill scores to make it a six to nothing ball game. She kind of got in on our pitcher, Katie Bean's Katie. legs a little bit. Katie's slow to get up after that play. Hope she is all right. She makes her way back to the circle. Umpire will need to clean the plate off and give Katie a few moments as well. Katie's a tough hombre. She'll be old. She'll tow it up and start attacking the strike zone again. First pitch to Hall was a ball one. Bean looking to the dugout for the sign. She toes the rubber. Now we're ready. That one lifted to left. It's deep for Douglas. That one's gone. That ball's deep. A two-run homer by the catcher for the Lady Falcons, Josie Hall, makes this an eight-to-nothing ball game. She got the. Uh, Good wood on that one, Mr. Hargrove. Squared it up, got a good pitch, a little bit up in the zone, left over the heart of the plate, and drove it out. That brings uh, the pitcher for the Lady Falcons up to the plate. It's Haley Meek. She'll bat with nobody on and no outs. Now batting the pitcher, Hallie Meek.
We're working on a home run ball here, I believe. Well, in middle school action, our uh, Wildcats won the CTC baseball, middle school baseball championship last weekend, as well as our Lady Cats middle school softball, softball. team. Nice season for those two clubs, uh, representing Tallahoma well, and uh, looking forward to having those uh, kids move up and play well over the next couple seasons. I think the Lady Cats had a 15 and four record and uh, we're 13 and two in, in conference play. And a great season. That it's one's a fair rip. ball. Fair ball, fair of third base. Here comes a throw to second. Meek is in there safely. Attack, the uh, throw in is just late. So a double for Meek. Lady Falcons pitcher. Pitcher herself a double. And we've got a call time got as time. Coach Erica Duke Robinson makes her way to, to the, the middle diamond. of the diamond. That middle school team, Lady Cats team, Jason beat North in the first round of the tournament, 12-2. to two. Defeated Coffee County on Saturday, two to nothing, and won the championship game against Warren County, ten to four, on Sunday. That's a nice weekend and a nice championship for those young ladies. Coach Robinson talking to the entire infield at this point. You know, Jason is. Um, it's no secret uh, we've struggled a little bit this year. Uh, as far as the scoreboard goes, but I tell you what, it says a lot about our young ladies' character. They show up at the ballpark every day smiling uh, and, and busting their tail, and, and there's really shows a character, a lot of character on their behalf. Uh, parents have done a great job of raising, raising some, uh, some hard-nosed kids here. That's right, representing Tullahoma very well. We're ready to play ball again. Pitch from Bean. That was lifted foul to left field. Up for the Lady Falcons is Bree Hayslip. Up for her second time of the evening. Short stop for the Lady Falcons. Bean's now ready. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Off speed pitch misses high. Evens the count at one and one. One on and nobody out. Visitors half of the second inning. Pitch for Bean. Lifted to the left. Douglas back is going to watch this one go. Second home run of the inning for the Lady Falcons. Another two run job. And that one by again, Bree Hazlett. Leaves the ballpark. Home run, Bree Hazlett. Two RBIs. I would suspect Jason that this Lincoln County team will make a pretty good run in the tournament. A Triple A championship. The That's correct. They will. They will Number be playing for several first more baseman, weeks. Mia Brown. Mia Brown, first baseman for the Lady Falcons. Next up. Bean uh, gets the sign and she's ready. Ball's low and away for ball one. Jason, we've got a pretty good crowd over there as we always do here on the Tullahoma side of the fence. Glad to see it. That one's lifted to center. Baker squeezes that, makes a nice play going to her left for her first out of the inning. Now we Brown need two more of those. Center field. It's great we live in a Let's community and we're going to support our athletic Have teams. That is correct. We've done a good job of that over the over the years. And um, whether that be uh, the band and the choral programs or the athletics as well. Abby Flint fouls that one straight back. Well, our community supports kids, Jason. That's right. Kids, period. And that's a great investment. Pays off now and in the future both. A pitch from Bean. 
to short. Saunders unable to snag that one. A single there for Flint. And she'll be on with one away and Chloe McKee coming to the plate for the Lady Falcons. Hit. And a ring to the plate. Designated player, Chloe McKee. McKee led off this inning with a hit. Off speed pitch up fouled out of play. It's heading towards your truck, Jason. Easy now. <laughs> oh one count on McKee. Lincoln County eight and two in District Eight Triple A play. Have had a strong season. I believe uh, most of their losses have been in uh, tournament play early in the season. Come into this game at 21 and 8 record. That one's lifted to right field. Stone going back makes the catch for out number two. Runner holds it first, and that'll bring the the second baseman out. Kelsey Posey to the plate. The second out. Jason, our outfielders have made the plays the they were supposed to have made so Kelsey far in this Posey. game. That's right. Posey with the single and her first plate appearance. Let's see what she can do with a runner on and two outs. First pitch from Bean was a strike to get ahead in this count 0-1. That one inside for ball one. One and one to Posey. With one on and two outs. Top of the second inning. That one's inside. Gets by Martin. Flint advances to second on the wild pitch. Two and one the count. To the Lady Falcons second baseman. Bean with the sign and now she's ready. That ball in, swung on. Snipes camped under it. Snags it for out number three. The visitors from Lincoln County plate seven in that half of the inning. We'll head to the bottom half of the second. You're watching the Light Tube Sports Network. Telehoma Utilities Authority Light Tube Fiber Internet offers true gigabit service to our customers. We pride ourselves on speed, but the backbone of that speed is local tech support, unmatched customer service, and professional service technicians. To sign up, call 455-4515 to gain the reassurance of light tube reliability. We welcome you back. We head to the bottom half of the second. Leading off for the Lady Cats, the catcher, Alina Martin, in her first play the appearance of the night. Meek on the rubber. She's ready in the first pitch. Swung on and missed by Martin for strike one. She may end up being my fishing buddy, Jason. She likes fishing. Senior. Heading to UTK, I think. I believe that's correct. Pitch on the way. Off speed nice pitch. Job. Pulled past Reese at third. Nice way to get an inning started there by Alina Martin with a single to left field. That'll bring Mallory Lino Stone leads, to the plate. Lady Cats right fielder. Jason Alina did a great job of clearing her hits there and getting the bat head through the strike zone there. Hit that one out front. Great job. First pitch to Stone outside for ball one. She's back in there. Meek getting the sign from the dugout. She toes the rubber and the pitch. That one misses inside. Stone ahead in the count, 2 0. Oh. Miss Stone's a sophomore. Been a uh, regular starter this season for Coach Barfield. 
2-0. Back to the pitcher. Meek throws a second for one. Throw on the first for a double play. A nice turn there by the Lady Falcons. Which leads us to two up and two down for the Lady Cats. That brings shortstop Emery Saunders to the plate. Stone squared that ball up nicely, hit it hard. Shortstop Emery Saunders. In softball, you kind of have to hit the ball hard to hit into a double play, but they fielded it cleanly and turned a nice double play. Right. Saunders takes the first pitch from Meek. Called strike one. Behind in this, early in this count, 0-1. The wind up in the pitch, high and away. Even as a count at one and one for the Lady Cats shortstop. So Jason, what do you think Meek's throwing here? How fast is her fastball? Upper 60s. I'd say it's probably pushing between 60, 61, 62. Okay. She's running up there a little bit. That one fouled back by Saunders. Puts her behind one and two in this count. Swung on, grounded to short, hayslip up, throw is high. Good recovery there by Brown for out number three. Three up and three down for the Lady Cats in the bottom half of the second. We'll head to the visiting half of the third with the visitors winning 10 to nothing. You're watching the Light Tube Sports Network. Welcome you back. The Top third. half of the third. A pitch and change for the Lady Cats. Zaylen so Spinner moves Carter from Mills. first to the circle to pitch for the Lady Cats. Coming out to play first base will be Ann Duncan. Leading off for the Lady Cats. Top of the order. Number 21, Carly Mills. First pitch to her was a ball. I think Coach Garrett's just trying to give him a different look. That one's grounded foul of third. Evens the count at one and one on Mills. Mills been on base every inning so far. I'd like to change that here in the top of the third. How about Jerry Chester spinning a little Neil Diamond's sweet Caroline there in between? Grounded nice to play. Saunders. Nice play. Throw is high. Unable to corral it as Duncan at first. Mills is on. That'll bring third baseman Mills Kylie Reese up base. for the visitors. That brings to the plate third baseman Kylie Reese. Reese is two for two on the night with two doubles. Pitch from Spinner. That one short hops the catch. Runner advances to second. She's going to try to third. Here's the throw, and it's late. Nice piece of alert base running there by the Lady Falcons. Gives them a runner at third with nobody out. And we'll see what Reese can do with a duck on the pond. The pitch, off-speed pitch up the middle. That's going to score the run. An RBI single for Kylie Reese. Makes this an 11-0 game for the visitors. Now, Jason, I know you're an Atlanta Braves Reese fan. Gets a base you have shown up RBI. here with a Nat shirt on, national shirt. Where would you come from? Josie I came Hall. straight from Cascade Park as our youngest was uh, in the midst of a uh, coach pitch Little League game. That one's ripped between short and third. Back-to-back -back singles for the Lady Falcons here in the top of the third. So that would be Colson, correct? That would be Colson. 
So they call him the train. That's what I understand. I think Mr. Hargrove calls him the locomotive. <laughs> That's correct. New Barry now running for the catcher and stepping to the plate. The pitcher, Haley Meek. Pitch Come runner on. for the Lady Falcons. That'll send Haley Meek, the pitcher for the visitors to the plate. With two on and nobody out and one in here in the top half of the third. Sure would like to see Miss Spinner throw us a ground ball here. Double play ball, preferably. A one count to the pitcher of the Lady Falcons. Pitch, off speed, lifted to center field. Baker going back, and she's going to watch that one leave the yard. A three-run home run for the pitcher for the Lady Falcons. Haley Meek. That gives them a 14-run advantage here in the top of the third. Still with nobody out. This team came ready to play. Almost have a Manny Sanguian approach. Never met a pitch they didn't like. That's right. Swing away. That'll be, bring Bree Hayslip up now for the visitors. Shortstop, Bree Hayslip. She had a home run in her last at bat. See what she can do against Spinner. That one lifted to left. Douglas heads back, and that one will go as well. Back-to-back -back home runs by the Lady Falcons will extend their lead to 15 to nothing over the Lady Cats. She touches the plate to make it 15 to nothing. That will bring Mia Brown to the plate Hayslip. for the Lady Falcons. Gets one out of here. Hayslip with a two home run game. Plate. First baseman, Mia Brown. Mia Brown, the first baseman, makes her way to the plate. They don't know which ball is which. As the home run balls come across the infield. Spinner back on the rubber. Looking to the dugout for the sign. She's ready. Brown awaits. That ball is low and away for ball one. Spinner made a good pitch there, just a little bit outside the strike zone, Jason. Nobody on, nobody out. That one rope to right field. Stone corrals it, gets it back in. A single for the Lady Falcons first baseman. Brown gets a base hit. That'll bring up Abby Flint. That brings us to the plate. Left fielder Left for Abby Flint. the Lady Falcons. <laughs> she grounded out in the first. Had a hit in the second. She's swinging away. That one just out of the reach of Farrell. Back-to-back -back singles for the Lady Falcons. Gives them two runners on. Nobody out. Flint. Gets a CNI base hit. And I believe this is Hurt going to pinch hit here. Charlie, Mr. Chester may have to help me out here. If this is. Okay, now I'll step into the play, number 12, Charlie Ann Hurt. Charlie Ann Hurt. First pitch from Spinner, strike one. Great job of getting ahead of the hitter in the count. Off speed None. pitch. Another nice foul tip. By Spinner. Head in the count, 0 and 2. How often is a triple play turned in uh, softball? Not often, but it would sure be nice here. The pitch is on the way. Great pitch. Oh, she fouled it off. Foul tip.
So we'll go at 0 and 2 again to hurt. Fouled away again. So we'll reset. Two on, nobody out. Top half of the third. Lady Falcons leading the Lady Cats 15 to nothing. Zaylin Spinner, she's ready. The pitch. That one's ripped to left field. Douglas corrals it, throws it back in. Bases will be loaded for Kelsey Posey. Hurt. Gets a CNI base hit. She will see what she can do. That loads him up for a second baseman, Kelsey. Posey. Here with the bases loaded and nobody out. Infield in with bases loaded. Needing an out. And needing to stop the bleeding here. Pitch high and outside for ball one. Posey back in there. Spinner's now ready. The pitch, off speed pitch fouled back towards us. Look out, Chris. Evens the count at one and one. Fleet footed. Chris Barstad there, getting out of the way. Cat-like reflexes. Cat-like reflexes. Obviously a Telehoma grad. That one up the middle. Played at least one. They'll hold Flint at third. No, they will not. Excuse me. On her way home as I was looking away. Two runs in on that hit from Posey. That'll make this one a 17 to nothing ball game, top of the third. And Cat's still Mosey looking for out number one in this half of the inning. A couple more RBIs. That'll bring us back to the top of the order. Number 11 coming to the plate. That's Kylie Newberry. Newberry Pinch hitting now, for buddy. Mills is Kylie Newberry. As Coach Smith. Subs his players. She'll get her attempt with two on and nobody out. Pitch high and away from Spinner. It's ball one. Jason, when the ball game gets out of hand like this, uh, guy in the third base box, Coach Smith has done a pretty good job of keeping them station to station. Um, showing some class. That ball low, gets away. Throw from Martin down the third is not in time. Both runners advance to give the Lady Falcons runners at second and third. And nobody out for the pinch hitter, Newberry. Sounds like an exciting game over at the soccer complex. Somebody punched one in. That ball taken for a strike. Two and one to count. Is that Richie Chadwick dancing over there? Spinner's ready. The wind up in the pitch. Hit to third. Runners stay. Throw across the diamond. In time for out number one. Another pinch hitter. Barry grounds out. Here for the Lady Falcons. Now coming to the plate, number 14. The ground out to the third. Stacy. For the first out of the inning. Aaliyah Stacy coming to the batter's box. Maria Stacy pinch hitting for Kylie Reese of the Lady Falcons. Two on, one out. Top of the third. The pitch from Spinner. Outside for ball one. Scott, the Lady Cats will have the opportunity um, for a pl That ball is ripped to left field. That's going to be a fair ball. Two runners will come around and score. Stacy with a nice hit coming off the bench to plate two runs. 
Makes this a 19 to nothing ball game for the visitors. And Stacy gets up and gets Jesse a double. Hall come back RBIs. to the plate. She's had a good night at the plate, three for three. Now come to the plate, the catcher, Josie Hall. As I was mentioning before that hit, Scott, uh, Lady Cats will have an opportunity to play at least one more time uh, next week, district play-in game. That uh, time and location to be determined. That one's popped up. Saunders underneath it. Corrals it for out number two. Jerry, who's the 16? It's be us in Franklin County in the 6-7 play-in game. And that'll be at Franklin that'll County as correct. they are the higher seed. Correct. Come to the plate, I believe that is 10, a uh, Haley Cartwright. single elimination game. Haley Cartwright, now batting. If you win that one, you're in the double, double elimination part of the tournament. Lincoln County will send another pinch hitter to the plate. Last name Cartwright. See what she can do here with one on and two outs. Spinner delivers. That one misses for ball one high. Pitch, rip, foul down the third baseline. Evens the count at one and one. On Cartwright. We're ready now. Spinner with the sign. Wind up in the pitch. High for ball two. Two and one, two outs. Jason, as I look at us, our defensive set, I see a senior behind the plate, senior at third, senior in left. So the majority of our dugout will be back next year. That's correct. Off-speed pitch misses low. Better thought about offering at that, but held up to take a three and one count. We have another senior in the dugout who's had surgery, Demi Garner. Right. She'll play college softball next year. Ball hit the second. Nice play by Corralled the by Snipes. Snipes. Throw Great over to gun. Duncan for, for the third out of the inning. Top half of the third was good to the visitors. We'll head to the bottom half of the third. Lady Falcons leading the Lady Cats 19 to nothing. This is the Light Tube Sports Network. You want to dance? Check out Stingray Music on TV. Now available, the new Stingray Music mobile app. Free with your TV subscription. Stingray Music. All good vibes. We're back to the home half of the third. Lady Cats Lady need some Cats. runs here. Trailing 19 to nothing. Be led off by third baseman Kaylin Farrell. Her first at bat of the night. A new pitcher for the Lady Falcons. Number 10, lefty. Haley Cartwright, different angle coming at you. That first pitch missed low. Alina Martin has her sole hit tonight, Jason. We squared some more, uh, some other balls up. Don't have a lot to show for it, though. That is correct. A swing and a miss by Farrell. Evens the count at 1-1. One one. Looked like maybe an off-speed pitch the way she offered. Pulled the string on the changeup. Quite a few different players in the field this half of the inning for the visitors. That ball misses high. Two and one. We want to give you some baseball information as there's plenty of opportunity. That ball lifted high to right field. Oh, nice, nice catch. catch. Nice catch there by the right fielder. And that's that's not the starter, folks. That's uh a substitute that's come in for the Lady Falcons making a nice play hey. there on a the ball going away from her. That was number Lily two, Lily, Lily Witt, Witt with a nice defensive play. Field. Next up for the Lady Cats be the now pitcher, Zaylin Spinner. The pitcher, Zaylin Spinner. She's 
she lifts the ball left field. That one's going to be just foul. Those balls uh, married each other quite a bit, one to right and one to left. It would be nice for that one to get down on the right side of the chalk. Um, back to our baseball discussion. They've got some opportunities for you to see them at home this weekend as they're out of district play after the, tomorrow night. They'll be at home against Community on Friday night. The ball is low and away. At 6.30, that is senior night. Honor the seniors there on the field. Play the Vikings of Community. Play the Vikings of Community. Saturday, they'll be at home against White County. I believe that's a doubleheader starting at 2 o'clock. There's ball a base to the left. Base There we go. For the pitcher for the Lady Cats spinner. That She'll way. be aboard with one out. That'll bring Caroline Nix to the plate with one away. And then baseball round out the regular Isaiah season at home Monday night against Grundy County hit. at 6 o'clock. Scott, Old that's Yale, Military Texas Appreciation Center. Night. Awesome. The play. That night. And Nicks. Mr. Barstad's telling me that Monday night against Grundy Missy County, Warner, like two Murray will be King. coming to you live. That'll be the pitcher. Scott Shastine and Ken Keller along with cameraman, producer, director extraordinaire. Chris Ball Barstad. Dodger, softball Dodger. Matrix. Matrix mover, Chris Barstad. That pitch low and away. In the Beautiful Grider Stadium. Beautiful Grider Stadium. Beautiful Grider with maybe the prettiest grass in the city of Tallahoma. Foul ball there to Nix. Evens the count at one and one. Jason, I'd sure like to see a scratch for a couple here. I'd love to see a scratch for about 20, Scott. Swing and a miss by Nix. Throw down the first. This is a spinner's back. I believe that's a pinch runner. I'm sorry. It is. Thank you for picking me up there, Coach Hargrove. Hey, I may be. Uh, that's Ava Maloney. Pinch running for the pitcher spinner. A little experience, Jason. Yes, I'm sir. still yes, sharp. Sir. That one just missed high and maybe outside. Even the count at two and two to Caroline Nix. One on, one away. Bottom half of the third. Cartwright deals. Nice Ball's job. lifted. Oh. Nice catch there by the shortstop going away. Throw over to first for the double play. Nice defensive effort. Ending the home half of the third. We'll head to the four. No, we won't. Excuse me. That'll be the ball game with a 19 to nothing final score. Visitors from Lincoln County win this one 19 to nothing. for the Lady Cats. We appreciate your support of these student athletes, we appreciate your support of Light Tube. There's no more softball to be played. We'll come to you soon from the baseball stadium, but that'll do it for us for tonight. For Scott Hargrove, Chris Barstad, this is Jason Ray. Good night. Thanks for coming out this evening.